Hi guys, Rob here. Today I'm coming from Abaca Boutique Resort here in Mactan Island. Sad to say that this resort is actually closing down at the end of March. So as I'm making this video, there's only a few more weeks to go. This is a really beautiful upmarket resort as you can see behind me. They are going to rebuild it into a hotel here. So the hotel is expected to open sometime in 2023. It's going to be an upmarket five-star type hotel. So it's going to be interesting to see how it looks. So this video will quickly look at the resort just in case you can stay here before the end of March. Otherwise it's going to be closed down for three and a half years and they're going to reopen that new building. On the map the resort is located in red in the top right corner. It's just past the Shangala and Moven Peak resorts. Google Maps shows it at around 30 minutes drive from the airport. It seems roughly right. Looking at the satellite map you can see the resort better. You can see the iconic infinity pool, which is in the dark blue color. To the right, the multi-leveled building is B Resort. One of the reasons why they said they're closing is due to some of the noise from nearby establishments, like from functions and weddings, etc., where they have music. And they said the resort just couldn't provide that boutique, peaceful ambience, which they pride themselves on. The resort has a wonderful upmarket restaurant, which in itself is recognized as one of the top restaurants in Mactan Island. On screen, I'll show you what I had for lunch, dinner, and breakfast. I've also included the menus. To the beachfront area, the highlight obviously here is the beautiful infinity pool. Very classy. The beach itself isn't quite as nice. To be truthful, it's ordinary. There's a little bit of sand that has been put there by the resort. So most likely, you'll be taking a dip in the swimming pool. To the right are some cabanas to escape from the sun. It just looks really stylish. Other facilities at the resort include a spa and gym. So let's have a look at the rooms. There's only nine in total. If you look at Abaca's own website, there's more details on the resort, as well as all the information on the room types. As I click through each room type, you can see their prices. And as you notice, they're quite expensive. Mactan Island resorts tend to be pricey, unfortunately. In this video, I'll show you the poolside and the garden pool villa. Looking on third party sites, such as Agoda, it was cheaper, as shown on screen. These rates were not shown the taxes though, and that you have to add a nearly another 3,000 peso. TripAdvisor was shown Booking.com as the cheapest, although it was the same price as Agoda. Trivago also had Booking.com as the cheapest, but it was shown as over 13,000. But when you clicked it, it did show the lower rate. So I stayed in the poolside villa, which was on the ground floor with easy access to the pool. The room is huge at 75 square meters. All oh, this is free? Exactly, sir. Including with your mini bar. All free. All free. Oh. Coffee, that's... coffee and tea any time of the day, either hot or cold is free. But okay. we don't sit up coffee maker and tea sit inside a suite since you are here to relax. Yeah. We are the one who make your coffee and tea. Oh wow. And if you need some, feel free to give us a call. With the room you get your own butler, so you get that extra service, which is just terrific. The wardrobe has its own robes and safe. It's a comfy King size bed, as you can see lots of space in the room. The bathroom was equally large with his and her sinks, bathtub and shower. It included toiletries such as toothbrush and shavers. This is the garden pool villa. I just looked into this room as there was a family staying there that night. Again, a really nice villa. It's such a shame that the resort is closing down. It was so unique. With the high service level and accommodation, it was second to none. They told me with the new hotel, there are plans with some of the rooms to have actual pools inside the room. So the new hotel does sound exciting and it's something to look forward to. But for Abaca Resort itself, it's the end of an era in Mactan. If you can get in there in the next few weeks, enjoy it if you can. My next video is going to be on the Shangri-La and Boracay. Hope you tune in for that. Till then, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.